We're here 20 miles east of London on the Isle of Grain in Kent, England. We're here for the mudflats, we're here for the horizon, the bleakness. It's windy, it's not as sunny as I hoped. We've got five pages to fill for the magazine and the tide's coming in in three and a half hours. I think with fashion photography, people are looking for images that challenge them. They're looking for something different, out of the ordinary. You want someone to stop on your, on your page. And it's the, the challenge is to actually produce images that will hold the viewer's attention. So this is what we're trying to do today, is take this beautiful girl, the beautiful clothes, and put it in this vast, barren landscape. And that contrast will, will give us interest with our shoot today. Well, our first setup is on the causeway. We're going to backlight it. We're going to look to expose for the highlights. So the whole shot looks dark and moody. I want to keep the skies and the clouds looking very moody. Obviously, she's going to be in shade, so I then need to put some light into her. So we use the mirrors, uh, which are reflecting from the sun, to bounce light back in. So I want to get that, that mood, the reflections off the water, reflections off the clothes, very moody, bit of blue in the sky. Just keep it like that. Keep it simple. That's better, guys. Well done. That's nice, yeah. Here we go, some sun. Right, F9. This is good, good, I've got my shot now. That's nice. Take this one and have a look at it. I've got a few frames that are usable. My setup on location is a MacBook Pro on a tripod and we have a hood around it just so we can keep the glare off. I like to work this way because I can quickly put a card in, see quite quickly on screen what's going on. And reading the sky, it's coming in at, it's about 16, 16 and a half. Shadow reading's five, six. So what that gives me, it gives me all the detail that I need on the digital file. Just two bit, have you got a smaller piece? Just get a smaller. When we were bouncing the mirrors in, I was just looking at the contrast of the shot. I want to make sure my histogram has got as much information as possible. The girl's wearing dark clothes, I'm back lighting her. So the, the contrast levels are, are, are fairly huge. I'm looking at the left side of the histogram to make sure that the shadow areas are holding. I need to have that information. Okay, we got it. One of the shots we had in mind was based on with the Trilby hat and the sequin jacket, it was Michael Jackson. And rather than have the microphone in the, the hand, we gave the girl a flare. So looking to stop down, get moody skies, I'm relying on that flare to be my main light. Okay, let's have a little look at it. I'm not sure how much light it's gonna give out, so I'm gonna try and guesstimate. The good thing about this, I've got the computer here, I've got aperture here, I can look on it straight away and I can see whether I need to open up or, or, or stop down. Change the shape, get more upright. That's it, there, that's better. Hopefully, we we'll pick up the red of the flare in the sequin jacket. That's our aim. I mean, you've got that contrast, that moody background to offset her against. So that's that's what we're looking to get. The beauty of being a photographer is you don't know what you're going to create. Get tighter, get closer. You turn up with a plan. Hopefully, you exceed what you set out to do. And when you when you you know when you press that button, you know when you've got that image, you know in your head. And when you finally see it on screen, somewhere inside you said, yeah, I've got it. When you turn up on a shoot, before the sun's up, to a location you would never be at unless you're doing photography, deciding what you're gonna do that day, I think it's those moments that make you wanna be a photographer.